free practice, free is in the books, and there was a wee bit of road rage. And I've, you tell you what, I'm, I'm on the verge of going on a rant, a bit of rage myself at Sky F1 because they've absolutely spat the dummy here about what Leclerc did. And they're not even acknowledging what Stroll did, right? So let's just look at both instances, right? So Stroll gets held up by Hamilton. Leclerc gets held up by Norris. Stroll drives into the side of Hamilton, actually damages his own floor. Leclerc gets held up by Norris, drives in front of him, and, like, they skim wheels. And they're, like, pure fucking greeting about what Charles Leclerc did. And I think the only reason they're actually doing that it's just due to the simple fact that Lance Stroll's pish. The guy's doing like 18th place, never going to amount to anything. Well, Charles Leclerc is obviously a favourite for pole. And, and, I mean, because w- w- what is the logic here? I mean, of the four cars, it looks like the only guy with damage is Stroll. But they're actually greeting about the Leclerc incident. I mean, I thought the traffic was a mess and they're all they're hyping up. Oh, ho, ho, seven drivers going for pole. That's why the road rage is... Feeling so good, though, I because I forgot Lance Stroll's going for fucking pole position. No, he's not. But anyway, Carlos signs. First practice, third. Second practice, second. Third practice, what did he get? He got P1. Carlos signs. He looks like a man on a mission. But to be fair, Norris set his lap on his second run. Leclerc made a bit of a mistake after being purple in the first two sectors. For stopping in fourth, Red Bull just don't look that good. But he'll still win the championship by a landslide. Um, and as for Mercedes doing in fifth and sixth, you know, a tenth and a half covers the top five, three tenths covers the top six. It's looking like a good wee battle for um pole position, that's true. Um then you get Perez doing nothing, Albon in eighth, good drive him Alonso in ninth, um Oscar Piastri in tenth. Again with Piastri though, I don't think he really got a proper lap in. I think he will be up there when it comes to crunch time with Lando Norris, I mean, there's no real excuse for the guy to be nine tenths off his teammates, so I'm sure when push comes to shove, Oscar Piastri will be up that pitch, up that pitch, up that order, it's not football guys, right, Ocon and Gasly, not exactly copying what they did yesterday, but who expected that, then you've got Hulkenberg, Bottas, Magnussen, Ricardo, Sonoda, Stroll, Guan Guan Yu, and Logan Sargent, it's the job squad at the back. What would you expect? I actually expect the RB, though, to be pretty good this weekend. I mean, they've been pretty good all season, but looking like their worst weekend of the season. At the track, that's supposed to be the, you know, the, the outlier of the track. It's like, well, not the outlier, but it's supposed to be like, right, this is actually the pace of the cars, and RB, with a massive upgrade this week, have went nowhere. But qualifying's at three. Who's my prediction for pole position? I'm going to go with Lando Norris. Um, Leclerc might get a penalty for that. Which rules him out. Perez already has a penalty, even though he's just shite. That's what rules him out, rather than his penalty. Mercedes don't look as good as I thought they were. And Carl signs. I just think he'll get pipped, sadly, by Lando Norris.